Hello, hello, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for May 5th through May 11th, or whenever you come across this message, it's meant for you. Now, I've already shuffled these cards, so we're going to get started with this week's theme, and the exciting new moon in Taurus is happening on on May 7th, all right? Gemini, that's happening in your 12th house of the subconscious. So this is a great time to release limiting beliefs, old patterns, toxic behaviors, addictions, things like that, and then to start something new, new patterns, right? Something new that's going to help enliven you, right? Maybe a new workout routine or just getting into new habits in general. So we've got number 32, jeweled web connectivity. So this really speaks to getting back out there in community and maybe making connections um, in places where you've been more isolated recently. We've got number 62, Will of the Wisp, Treasures Hidden in the Shadows, and Sky Dancers, Surrender number 48. So you've got eight, 12, and five. Five is a number. That's what these numbers reduce to. So five is a number of disruption. Eight is a number of abundance and material form. And 12 reduces to three, which is going to be a number of self-expression and creativity. So let's see what spirit has for you this week. Um, I'm going to do a nine card spread and then I'll clarify those as well. So let's see what can Tar or what can Gemini expect in this new moon in Taurus. All right, so we've got the seven of cups, and I have another one that flipped up, and I'm going to take it. I've got nine of cups. 10 of pentacles and seven of cups. So I feel like you've exerted a lot of independence recently, even amongst your friend groups and in your family. I've got the 10 of pentacles here suggesting that there is, you know, a wish fulfillment type situation happening or where you're just feeling very content in general. <clears throat> but you're showing up as also independent within that. So we're going to clarify all of these. With the Seven of Cups, I feel like if you are going through something, you're about to have a lot of options show up for you um, it, if you are thinking about creating change. So let's see. Oops. Well, I've got the three cards came out very quickly. So I've got the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Devil card. So remember in the beginning, I said this is happening in your 12th house of the subconscious. <clears throat> And that's all about, you know, like deep down inside what's driving you, right? what's driving your decisions, what's having you, what's having things live rent free in your mind is what I'm hearing. So <clears throat> the devil card can be about feeling stuck in a situation, feeling constrained, um, feeling like maybe the way you see things is jaded by your past. And then we've got the Ace of Swords coming in as a central position for you, Gemini. So that's all going to be about, you know, it could be the truth of the matter or information coming to light, or you may even have communication with someone. So it's kind of hard to tell until we go ahead and clarify these, but you've also got the Six of Swords suggesting that things are coming to a close. Lots of um, air energy, right? Five of Swords came out. So the Five of Swords can be about really having to outsmart someone or outsmart the competition, Right. That's that's <clears throat> you have a lot of five showing up. Right. You've got the first card, the jeweled connectivity, number 32, five of swords, four of swords and page of cups. So <clears throat> that's interesting. Let's go ahead and clarify these and get more information for Gemini, please. Why the nine of cups for Gemini? Why this first row? Nine of cups, ten of pentacles, seven of cups. I'm hearing like. <clears throat> You've had to exert some independence recently. Yeah, so you've got the nine of cups. You've got very opposing energies here as your first um, in your first row. So you've got this nine of cups and this nine of swords. So I'm not sure if you're considering breaking away from a group <clears throat> with the ten of pentacles. We've got the three of cups showing up. Death card clarifying the seven of cups. So let's go ahead and look at this a little bit deeper. With this nine of cups, the nine of cups suggests like a more independent energy, right? Where you've been um, really fulfilled in your own skin, right? And then we've got the nine of swords and that's really showing the exact opposite situation and nines are all about endings. So oddly enough, some of you might be a little bit anxious about getting into a relationship or you're apprehensive about someone you've just met potentially um, <clears throat> because look, I'm even getting... 
I'm having a hard time getting my words out. So I'm not sure if you're shy, if you're, you know, concerned here or because this is suggesting that you might have met someone through a friend, to be honest, because we've got the three of cups showing up here and the ten of pentacles. Hmm. That's interesting. So that's how it's coming through, right? That that you're about to go from maybe a very independent state of mind to considering getting into relationship. And if that's not resonating with you, I would just say that um, at this point, it just looks like you are really either getting into or breaking away from a relationship, to be honest, because, you know, Gemini, this is a general reading and it can go either way. But with the two nines showing up and one being very independent energy and the other one being all about stress, followed by the ten of pentacles and the three of cups, right? The ten of pentacles is your family unit what's going on at home. And then the three of pentacles, or I'm sorry, the three of cups is about celebration, right? And, um, you know, sisterhood potentially. So there's something here <clears throat> because we've also got the seven of cups and the death card. So you're definitely looking to transform a situation in your relationships. And I feel like, you know, there's more than one way to attack this problem that you are considering with the seven of cups and the death card, right? I feel like you're looking to change your vibe up completely, which is so different than what I expected. So let's see, we've got the six of swords. Why the six of swords? The Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, and Devil card. Some of you are definitely moving away from a situation. So let's see. Yeah, so the Fool card comes up. Okay, that's confirmation because I was starting to wonder where this was really heading. Um, but that's, that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting that there is this situation that you guys are going through where it's like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I take the leap of faith? And the Fool card says, yeah, go ahead and do it. And again, it's a general reading, but the way that tarot works basically, and the way that energetics work is that we're meant to experience both sides of any coin, right? So if you've been in relationship for a long time and you've been considering being single, that's what you're coming up against this week, especially with this new moon, it's going to be about starting a new cycle, right? Why are you in a relationship that doesn't serve you? Devil card. Now, if it's the other way around, which for so many people it is, where you're like, you know, you've been cleaning house for two years, right? Like getting rid of all the people, all the places, all the energies that don't serve you. And now, you know, we're heading into Taurus season where things really are manifest. And so if you've been considering like getting back out there with friends, doing something different, um, maybe joining some type of community, I feel like things really start to take off this month. Um, <clears throat> so that's interesting because definitely there are better days ahead because you're taking that leap of faith. Truly. Like it might feel scary, right? But when I see this jeweled web connectivity and the three of cups, it really suggests that you're not alone, right? And you need to surrender to the idea that there's a different life for you regardless of what that looks like, right? It's just different than what you've been having. So you've got to follow your gut. That's truly what's going on. That's what I'm hearing. All right, so why the Ace of Swords, please? Why the Ace of Swords? So the Lover's card. Wow. Yeah, the, Gemini, this is confirmation again. First of all, this is you. Gemini energy is the Lover's card. So it's also about making choices. You guys are up against... It looks like decision time because now you've got the information you need, though. So this is a conversation taking place that's going to potentially be the catalyst for entering or exiting this situation. And both can be true, right? Because some people are starting something new and some people are ending something to start something new. And it could be, honestly, that there's some toxic behaviors happening at home or in your relationships. Um, and it doesn't have to be romantic, right? This could be a disruption amongst your friends as well because that's coming up quite a bit. And um, I've got the King of Wands coming through. So we're going to put him back in because he flew out with a bunch of other cards. But that's the Devil card clarification. Let's see if it comes out again, because that would suggest that you could be um, dealing with someone who is non-committal, right? But we will see. Why the devil card? Devil card comes up with the four of swords. So this is the second time the four of swords shows up for you. Four of swords means like maybe like put down your guard and like take a minute, rest and reprieve. So you might have been overindulging recently in too much of the fun, right? Because <clears throat> that can be the devil card energy. <clears throat> 
gosh, Gemini, I feel like you guys are maybe not expressing yourselves. You're not getting out what you want to say. I'm getting a lot of blocking here in my throat chakra, like almost like you're, you're holding yourself back. So maybe there's an energy here of having to take some time to regroup and think about what it is that you want to express. Cause I do see you having a clarifying conversation and just maybe like getting it all out on the table so that you can make some solid decisions about how to move forward. I also feel like this energy of the fool card and the six of swords. It's like you've been manifesting and wanting just a better home life, a better, smoother environment, different types of friends. I'm, I'm getting this energy of I've got to get out of the house, right? I've got to do something different. I've got to see what else is out there. Hmm. So the devil card can be about depression, anxiety, limiting beliefs. Um, what's that called? Addiction, right? So where are you giving your power away? And why, right? Or what are you holding on to with this lover's card, ace of swords? And even as I say, what are you holding on to? The four of pentacles shows up. What are you guarded about, Gemini, right? And that's what this new moon is about. It's a good time to release. Like, what do you need to release so that you can make space for that new energy, for that new environment, right? Is there something going on in your day-to-day -day that's keeping you stuck, like, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Like if you're home and things are, I don't know, or that's what I'm getting this energy of like, you've got to make a switch. So five, yeah. So look, the five of swords is being clarified by the knight of swords. So this knight is the fastest moving knight in the deck, but they can also make a decision because they have all the information they need. And it's a quick decision like overnight and then with this five of swords five of swords when i see it with the knight of swords and the ace of swords and the four of swords like you're going through all of this air energy very cerebral lots of talking lots of communication this week lots of clarifying communication five of swords look this person is masterminding an entire situation they are not looking to necessarily fight but they're looking to be heard and they're looking to just everybody put their weapons down and we've got to solve of this and you have all the information you need and that's exactly what happens because in this five of swords right this person is dealing with two other people they're in the back right and what he did was he took three swords and left two in the ground and said okay look if you're going to come for me i'm going to outnumber you with my swords you might outnumber me with people but i have more weapons so this isn't going to go well <laughs> and so just masterminding survival masterminding and crafting you know um strategy strategizing and that's what this is knight of swords so i feel like you're taking action this week truly to to move forward and whatever it is that you do it's going to be better when you just just do it that's what i'm here just do it gemini just do it just say it get it off your chest right <clears throat> seven of cups death card that death card is scorpio energy you could be dealing with a scorpio but most more than likely what it is is that you're going through a transformation and you're examining your options because you've got nine of swords right and the world card comes up so taurus new moon is a great time to bring in things for material success abundance um stability right luxury items if you're looking to make purchases big purchases this is a good time to do it in this month um <clears throat> this is also a good time to purge and it's a perfect time to purge any type of relationship that doesn't serve you and it's a great time to spring clean right we did that already in march many of us but this <coughs> <coughs> excuse me i'm telling you you guys need to have some kind of conversation it's really coming through virgo energy showing up in your in your reading so you could be dealing with the Virgo as well. I mean, you've got a lot of signs here. Virgo, a Scorpio, um, full card. So we also have the Ace of Cups. So Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. Four of Swords can also be about like taking some time, like an introvert. And Ace of Cups is like a new beginning in love and in friendships, desire, having fun. Um, aces are amazing, right? And you have the full card, Ace Cups. I feel like you're going to have this conversation to clarify maybe um, some boundaries with someone and what it is that your expectations are. Because I feel like you want new friendships and I feel like you want a different home life, right? Whether it's getting in to a deeper commitment or leaving that commitment, because again, general reading, both can be true, right? It's like a 50, 50 shot. 
And then we've got Page of Cups. So pages are really enthusiastic. They want to be in community. They want to explore spiritual connections, friendship. So, oh, actually, Ten of Swords. All right, guys. So this is really telling. This is old friends coming out, new friends coming in with some anxiety and apprehension about how that's going to go. Spirit says, release that and go forward knowing that you are enough. You're enough however it is that you show up. Whatever relationships, friendships, work, or romantic, especially romantic because it's coming through that way, that are um, blocking you from having that freedom, that feeling of acceptance and love. I feel like you have to have some conversations and let people know because Gemini, you might've changed, right? And I hope you have, right? In the last you know, year or so, think back, even the last six months, what have you changed? How have you grown? What do you see around you that maybe you used to say, okay, that isn't that big of a deal, but now you're like, you know what? That doesn't work for me and I don't love it. And so I think I'm going to do different with my life because that's what this reading's all about. It's about ownership <clears throat> and surrendering to the idea that something different lies ahead for you. And you don't have to be in this awful situation to walk away from something, right? Sometimes you walk away on a high note, right? Just because it doesn't feel quite right. It doesn't resonate with you. And with this will of the wisp treasures hidden in the shadows, it's like, where have you not yet explored life? What is left ahead of you? And I think that so many of us forget that we are on borrowed time, right? We never know what's going to happen next. So why allow yourself to be in this devil energy, right? Why allow yourself to feel trapped in a situation four of swords, right? Think about it. Take some time to yourself and really think about what it is that you want this new moon and how you can get it. If you have to retreat for a little while to get these plans in order, then that's going to have to be okay with everybody else, no matter what that looks like for you, Gemini, because there's so much here of opportunity. The full card with the six of swords together says, you know, you can't do wrong here. The ace of cups, the Ace of Swords, new information, new love, new passion, new desire coming in for you this week. So let's see, what is the shadow work for Gemini as we go through the 12th house in the new moon in Taurus? Again, that's going to be, it's going to allow you to shift your perspectives. It's the other thing about this new moon. It's perspective shifting, letting go, allowing yourself to accept a new type of environment. It's almost like... <clears throat> Okay. You know how I said spring cleaning and a lot of you were like, well, I've already done that, Stassi. This is different. This is like a, a soul spring cleaning, right? Where you're just like, okay, I, I've changed and I want new clothes. I've changed and I want new vibes, new people, new humans. I want to do new things with my time. And <clears throat> where you used to have limiting beliefs and maybe you were shy or maybe you thought like, <clears throat> and again, like you wouldn't be heard if you said what was on your mind that comes to an end. I'm feeling like Gemini, I'm seeing in my mind that you get like a megaphone and you're like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here and this is what I have to say and it's important. <laughs> so, wow, another number five. So your shadow work, Gemini, it literally reads number 14, hiding your true self. I'm, <laughs> you've changed a lot. You've grown, right? You've matured. And you've, ex you've matured and explored and you see that you're not doing all the things that you thought you would be. And instead of being sad about it, you're like starting to make the plan. So I'm really proud of you, right? There's, I don't feel like, <clears throat> again, let's go back to the devil card with the four of swords. I feel like in the past where you might've been stuck in the muck and upset and depressed and wondering why, why, why this changes. And you take a break from that and you're like, no more, I'm not going to hide myself for anybody you're going to start saying your truth and you're going to start having clarifying conversations. And I see you showing all the way up with no apologies to every place that you feel like going, not necessarily every place you're invited to. So take that how it resonates. Number 14 reduces to number five. Again, another, it's the number of change being adaptable and <clears throat> having disruptive moments disruption is not a bad thing, right? You've got to get through the disruption of the number five to get to the beauty and harmony of number six, balance. So wherever you go, show up as whoever you are now, right? Consistency is for you. So 
If you're consistently evolving, that's okay. If you're consistently finding yourself, that's okay. You don't have to dim your light to make those around you comfortable ever. Because when you start doing that, you're conforming to someone else's idea of who you are. And that is not your path, right? Your path, Gemini, is to shine your unique light no matter what. And for those who cannot see because you shine so brightly, tell them to put on some sunglasses. That's not your problem. So what is the empath work for you this week, Gemini? Look at the stars, probably one of my favorite cards. I'm like, I could tear up because I'm really feeling, um, you know, guys, I'm an empath. I'm a water sign. I'm a Scorpio. So psh, flood tears all the time. <clears throat> but this reads, look at the stars, look up and remember that you are but a tiny speck in a large, mysterious universe. Let the magic of the stars connect you to your own special magic. For those of you that have been following me for some time, I always close with a prayer that says, we're all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And in this instance, spirit's reminding you that there are no two stars that are alike, and there are no two humans that are alike. And you are meant here, just like the stars, to shine brightly, right? You are meant to shine brightly brightly. You are meant to express yourself. If you are ever confused about that, look up, look up. And do you look at the sun and then the stars and then the moon and say, well, that one's not as good as that one. No. Right. We look up and we go, wow, what the glory, right? What glory is out there? How lucky am I to be part of it? And I hope that's what you're doing. And if you're not, try it, see what happens. Connect, connect, connect. Because go back to Number 52, or I'm sorry, number 32, another number five, jeweled web connectivity, right? There are people out there, there's your soul tribe that you resonate with. And if you're not feeling that right now, look up, look up and ask and say, spirit, bring me my soul tribe, show me the path. Let me know where I can be brightly lit and others will appreciate it. So, all right, Gemini, I hope that this helps and I can't wait to see what you let go of. Well, comment below and let me know what things are you ready to release so that you have the space to bring in something new. Guys, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Drop some comments. Let me know you're out there. Let me know how you feel. It does help my channel grow. It's free for you. And I am so appreciative. And I respond to each and every one of them out there. Thanks for coming and spending some time with me today. Make sure to check out your other placements. If you are looking for a more personal experience, feel free to book a reading at starswithstassi.com. Also, feel free to follow me on all the platforms. Stars with Stassi everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, all the places. So thank you so much again. And until next week, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead, Gemini, and I'll see you next week. Shine brightly.